Ebbs and welcome back to Dark Souls. So last time, we returned to the Undead Asylum, claimed the Peculiar Doll, then went to the Painted World of Ariamis, and frankly, we mercilessly slaughtered everybody living there, and I'm sorry, the inhabitants were anything but peaceful. Now, let's buy this goddamn spell from Logan before I forget, because it has been a long, long time coming. There we go. Homing Crystal Soul Mass. Now, if you buy every single spell that Logan is selling when he's here, not when he's in Final Shrine, but when he's here, he'll move somewhere else and you can get some really good magic gear. We'll do that later, we ain't got the souls for that right now. Speaking of which, I'm wondering if between what, what souls we have and the souls we have in reserve as soul consumables, maybe we have enough to actually finally get 44 intelligence so we can use Crystal Souls Bear, because that thing is going to hit like a truck. Give me a moment here. Okay, I used to want soul consumables besides the boss souls for obvious reasons. Now, do we have enough to finally get 44 intelligence? Yes, we do. Not even enough to get an extra one, though. Okay, now, let's equip Crystal Soul Spear. It's been a long, long time coming. Like, holy shit. I guess we'll get rid of regular Heavy Soul Arrow, because, frankly, it ain't that good no more, and it casts way too goddamn slow. I kind of want both the Soul Spears and the Home and Crystal Soul Mass, which is just like regular Soul Mass, except much more freaking powerful. Now, before I forget, let's go back to Phylax Shrine and use our Bonfire Keeper Soul to upgrade our Estus Flask. Because we have had that ever since we saved Logan all the way back in that cell. That's a long, a long goddamn time. Now, I'm pretty sure our Estus right now heals us fully anyway, but we are going to be upgrading our HP, so eventually it won't do that anymore. So we need to keep upgrading this puppy as we go along here. Okay, it's time to go get our final Dragon Skull so we can fully upgrade our badass Magic Sword. I'm going to go to the Valley of the Drakes. I'll show you one run. If it takes more than that, I'll do the rest off screen. Okay, we has arrived. We are at the bonfire that's next to the Black Knight wielding the Halberds that was protecting the Grass Crest Shield that we killed mm, probably in episode 2 or 3, something like that. So, uh, yeah. You may remember I mentioned this is a shortcut you can take to get down to the bottom of Black Town very quickly if you do not have the Master Key. This is the elevator. And this is where I farm the drakes if I need to. Like I say, usually I find with max drop rate, which we will have when I equip the uh, Covetous Gold Serpent Ring, I get, I think, between one or two scales a trip. I think the most I've ever had is three. Never actually have four. I think there's five drakes, so uh, yeah. We should, in theory, get one this trip, but it might not happen. Like I say, I'll do one run. If I don't get one, then I'll do the rest off screen. It shouldn't take too long either way. Now, the question is, can I one-shot these guys? I'm guessing probably not, but uh, we probably can two-shot them. They have a lot of HP, and yes, they hit like a freaking truck. Always go to the left of them. They will start shooting from the right. Well, technically their left side, so uh, yeah. Now this one along here, this one's kind of tricky. He will fly at you every goddamn time. Hug the left wall, he will go to the right of you. Trust me, he will not hit you, but uh, he comes very, very close. Watch. See? Kind of scary as shit. And yes, they can knock you off the side very easily. They can also knock you off the side with their wings, so if they're rotating on the spot and you're too close to them, their wings can literally just knock you straight off the side, so you have to be very, very careful of that. Now, it's one on the bridge. Basically, you just want to lure him towards you and stand behind this wall, then run out and kill him. If you try and fight him on this bridge, he will fly around like a tit in a trance, will shoot lightning and shit all over the place, and you will not have a good time. You'll have a very, very bad time, trust me. I've died many times trying to do that. There we go. Guys, come back. Thank you. Give me a scale. Come on, buddy. You freeloading son of a bitch. Okay, so there's two more down here. We should be fine here. Now, these guys are a little bit more tricky. You can't really lure them out one at a time. And if you can, I've never really bothered. I just run straight past them. Try and kill one from my... Oh, shit, there's three drakes. Shit. <laughs> I did not see that one until the last minute. Shit. Okay, we are in trouble. Yo. Just. Yo. Don't fly at me. Okay. Somehow I did not even see that guy until we were right next to him. I don't know how the hell I forgot there were three there, but yes, there are three. Don't knock me off the edge with your wings. Okay, that was scary. So yeah, that was a thing. Hey, there's our dragon scale. Thank God for that. You know what, whilst we're here, we may as well just clear this shit up. And then you go, yeah, the brigand set of armor. I believe that's what you start with the barbarian class, I think it is. Either way, it's one of the starting sets. Don't remember which bloody one it is. Where did the rest of the drakes go? I think they, ju I think they suicided off the side, and yes... Just like the crow demons, or whatever the hell they're called, the harpies, back in the painted world, they can't fly, but they will still fall to their deaths. And I'm okay with that. That was the thing. Okay, so up here we're going to get the red tearstone ring. Basically, if you have very low HP and you equip this ring, you will boost your attack a hell of a lot. It's quite, well, not common in PvP, but some people tend to do it. They'll go in and try and evade you with very low HP. They'll wear the ring, they'll use power within, and maybe coat their weapon in something, and they'll just try and one-shot you. So, uh, yeah, if you see people with very low HP, it's almost a certainty that that is what they are trying to do. And there we go, our magic sword of badassery is fully upgraded. You can see down there, it's actually an S rank, the highest rank in the game. That means the scaling of the weapon, so with an S rank, it'll boost our damage a lot more than anything else will. 
Okay, so we have one of the Lord Souls and one we got from Seath. There are three more. We can either go get Nito's one in the Catacombs, or we can get the Better Chaos's one in Lost Isolith, or we can get the one from the Four Kings in New Londo Ruins. I think next we want to go to Lost Isolith, because you do not want to go to the Catacombs without the Sunlight Maggots, because otherwise you can't see what the hell you're doing, and you get that there. So, I'll see you when we arrive. Okay, so this is the way you get to Lost Isolith. This is next to the Daughter of Chaos, Quailuk's sister. You can teleport right here. You, I don't think, can actually teleport anywhere else in Lost Isolith. So, uh, yeah, there is a shortcut, however, that you can open. Basically, you know that big platform that I just run past on the floor? That is kind of an elevator. That will take you somewhere in Lost Isolith, but it's nowhere near the end. So, uh, yeah, in fact, no. I think you actually can teleport to one of them, but uh, still, that one is a long, long way away. Like, a long freaking way away. We have, I think, three bosses before we even get to that, so... Yeah, that's the last one before you get to the Better Chaos, so... Three bosses, then we'll actually be at the bonfire before the Better Chaos, so... We have a lot of shit to do here. Now, as you might imagine from the fog wall over here, this is gonna lead us to the first boss. Now, this guy always gives me a shitload of trouble, like, a lot of trouble. I think the main reason is, frankly, and I'm not kidding when I say this, the hitboxes on this guy are wonky as shit. Basically, they all sort of slam giant tentacles down on your head. Half the time, they completely miss you, like, they do not touch your character, and you just outright die. Half the time, they directly hit your character, and you don't take any goddamn damage. I hate this boss. This is genuinely one of my least favorite in the game, because like I say, the hitboxes, I'm sorry, in my opinion, they are fucked up. Now, there is a way to take this boss out incredibly easily. Basically, you can make him angry, run all the way back to the boss fog, and if you've done it correctly, and I think I know how to do it, he should sort of jump and try and attack you, he'll hang onto the ledge, you can hit his hand, and then he'll fall off the cliff. I don't think it matters how much damage you do to his hand, I'm pretty damn certain I did it very quickly with a very weak weapon. So, we see how long it takes with this one, because this one's extremely powerful. If we take him out in like one or two shots, then we know damage matters, but I'm sure it's just the number of hits, so... In theory, you probably just punch him off the side. So yes, we are gonna try and cheese this guy. Now, this is not a bug. I want to stress that. Some people think it's a bug. The guy jumps and hangs onto the edge. That's not a bug, that's entirely intentional. I don't know why they did that, maybe they realized that the hitboxes were shits, and that, you know, that was kind of their idea to get around that, I really have no idea, but, uh, that is him, and as you can see, he's not aggressive yet. Now, I mentioned this in my Soul Level 1 Let's Play, but, uh, this guy is actually the brother of the Daughters of Chaos. Quailug, the Spider Lady, her Spider Lady sister, the Better Chaos is actually their mother, and, uh, there are some other ones, like, uh, there's one we haven't seen yet, but she's at the bottom of Blight Town. I think they're the only ones- OH SHIT! Ouch! I think they're the only ones in the game. In fact, no, there's one more that actually guards the uh, boss fog to the better chaos. They're all of them in the game. I think there were like eight of them or six of them or something. I forget the number now, but uh, yes, a lot of them are dead. I believe those are the robes of one of the dead sisters, or it might be the robes of the mother. I can't remember, but uh, either way, he does not like your grave robbing from his family. So now he is pissed at us, and he will be permanently pissed at us. Usually, if you don't take those robes, you can come in here, hit him once, and then he'll aggro on you, but when you come back, he won't be aggroed again. Now, you have to stand around here, wait for him to walk around a little bit, wait until he's very, very close, and then run. Just run. Run all the way to the boss fog, and I think this is what we need to do to cause him to fall down. So basically, like I say, loot- oh shit! That hurts! Loot the robes. Wait behind there until it catches up with you, then run like freaking hell. This should work. I'm hoping it does. If it doesn't, we have to find it properly, and I'm not looking forward to that. You can do it after you've looted the robes, but it's much more difficult. Basically, you have to run back around to where the robes were, get him to come near you, and do the same thing as before. There we go. Perfect. Unfortunately, we missed the jump either way. Yeah, we've done a lot of damage already. I'm pretty damn sure it's just the number of hits you do and not actually how hard you hit him. Where you go? There we go. Down I go. <laughs> See ya, buddy. Gotta hate that guy. So the reason you have to kill him, you'll see in the cutscene, all the lava will harden and we can actually proceed, otherwise, we'd be bold. Now, I should probably mention there's actually a way to get around this so you don't have to kill him, at least I don't think you have to kill him, but basically, if you go back to the Door of Chaos, Quailark's sister, and you give her 30 humanity, you will open up that shortcut that I mentioned before, and then you can go that way and you can get around him, and I think you can avoid the other two bosses as well, maybe only one of them, not entirely sure. That is the way that you save Solaire. Yes, I think only one boss, actually. Not sure, but either way, that's the way you save Solaire. You have to open up that shortcut, so you need to donate 30 humanity, so, yeah, we will be trying to do that a bit later in the game. I don't think it's going to matter too much when we do it, as long as we do it before a specific point, and I think I know when that point is. Maybe wrong about that, but we shall see. Now, what armor do I want to wear? I guess we'll go with, uh, Lortrex gear. Where the hell is it? It's right near the bottom, is it? Yeah, there we go. 
There we go. Now, we have another boss coming up very soon, and then one almost immediately after that. This place is basically just a freaking boss rush. And I got put on Havel's Ring. There we go. No more fat roll. Now, before I forget, there's a few egg guys down the left. I believe the last three will actually attack you. I don't know why those ones are aggressive, but none of the others are. Of course, if you attack them, they'll attack you anyway. So, uh, yeah, you do not want to get attacked by these guys. They will grab you and kind of latch onto you. It's like freaking aliens. And then you'll actually start developing a giant... It's like an egg or a boil or something on your head, and then your head will turn into a giant boil. I'm not kidding. And then you can actually, I think your kick attacks turns into a headbutt or something, and it's absolutely goddamn disgusting. The worst part about it is the thing on your head will actually absorb half the souls you get. Plus, whilst you are infected before the boil actually grows, your character will periodically scratch their head. And when they do that, you can't do anything. I died in PvP because of that. My character scratched his head and the guy went around and backstabbed me. It pissed me off so much. Like, I was so angry. You have no idea. I didn't know what the hell happened. I didn't even know that was a damn thing. So yeah, do not get affected by them unless you want a giant boil on your head, which, if you want to freak people out in PvP, it's kind of handy, but uh, yes. Don't do PvP or really anything until it actually grows. Otherwise, like I say, you keep scratching your head and then you will just get yourself killed. It sucks. It really, really sucks. Now, you may remember Kirk invaded us in the depths. He's actually going to invade us right now. The reason I'm saying this is because if you want to get his armor set, you have to kill him in all three locations where he invades you. You have to be human here, and you have to have killed him in the depths. If he doesn't show up here, you got to go to the depths, got to kill him there. So, yes, kill him all three times, you will get his armor, and his armor looks absolutely goddamn amazing. Probably my favorite armor set in the game from, you know, a looks perspective. Plus, it's actually got a unique thing. If you roll into someone with the armor... Okay, he's dead. Holy shit. I was not expecting you to die that quickly. Okay then, anyway, if you run into someone with the armor equipped, it'll actually do a bit of damage to them. If they have no poise whatsoever, you can actually stun lock them with that. I did that to someone in PvP once, they were completely naked, and I just rolled them to death. It was goddamn amazing. Okay, so, you can see over there, there's a lot of freaking Capra Demons. We could kill them, but I'm lazy, man, so screw it. Let's just go off the side here. Yes, that thing is insanely dangerous, and it's guarding the bonfire. Luckily, we can shoot it from a distance. That thing will... Uh, da, 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 da. Holy shit, dead already! Okay! That thing usually wiggles around and it does so much damage and it has a lot of range, so you don't want to get hit by that. It also has a spit attack, which I believe corrodes your weapon, and possibly your armor as well, so yeah. Don't dick around with those guys. Okay, one second, I will be right back. Okay, sorry about that, I have returned it. Now, we are just outside the next boss room, and the boss after that is literally no enemies between you and that, and then you are there. It's kind of freaking insane. I guess they just ran out of ideas here, and they were like, shit, what do we do? I don't know, stick another boss in, Dave. Get out of here. Okay, so these guys will pre fire at you. The fire can stun lock the shit out of you, but besides that, they're not that dangerous. I believe they have really good physical resistance. I think they might be weak to crush, however, so if you have a club or something, kind of handy. There's actually a lot of enemies in this game that are weak to crush, so if you're doing a soul level 1 run and you use the club, really good weapon, like really, really freaking good. Get out of here. Da -da 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 -da. I'm watching you. Okay, fine, back up and die then. That was, the <laughs> that was an easy fight. Okay, so there's going to be another dude that's going to try and ambush us over here. We are probably just going to run past him. Yeah, screw you, buddy. Now, over on the left, is another ember over there. I can't remember which one it is. I think it's got something to do with fire. It might be the chaos ember or the flame ember. I think it's the chaos. Don't tell us sure, but yes. There's another ember over there. We're not going to grab that right now. We'll come back for that later. I just want to take out these two bosses and end the video because I'm a lazy, lazy man. I want to kill three bosses in one video, goddammit. Okay, so this guy is the demon fire sage. He's kind of just like the asylum demon, but more like the street demon in the foul guts. I completely misturned that. That's not good. Yo, just okay. Thank God for that. No, 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 no. Son of a bitch. Anyway, before I forget, this guy's just like the stray demon. He has an area of effect attack that he will do with his staff, just like that. And we don't want to get hit by that. Damn it. I've done the same damn thing that I did against the stray demon. I'm wearing armor. <laughs> Holy shit. I died to the demon fire sage. For shame, sir. For shame. Anyway. Don't wear armor against that guy, just like the stray demon, as you saw, you won't be fast enough to freaking get away. Why did I do that twice in a row? What a goddamn moron. Okay, I'm not going to bother to turn human again, because there's literally 10 feet between us and the boss fog. No one's going to invade us. No one's invaded us the entire goddamn game, so it's not very likely to happen here, is it really? Speaking of which, I cannot believe we haven't been invaded yet. Like, I feel like at this point we might go through the entire game, be human almost the entire time, and not be invaded once. See, I wasn't kidding when I said invasions don't work for me. Like, they really, really don't. I can barely invade people myself, but it works occasionally, but uh, getting invaded just does not happen. I mean, what's a guy got to do to get invaded around here? That sounds, <laughs> sounds very dirty. But seriously, 
I just want to be invaded. Someone just invade me like holy crap. I don't care if you kill me. Just invade me. Okay, we got Bloodstain back this time. You're mine, you surly son of a bitch. No, 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 no. No, don't land on me. Okay. Now, <laughs> like I say, just like the Stray Demon, when you see him doing the area of effect attacks, freaking run the hell away. Oh, shit! Assuming you are quick, not like I was before, you should have plenty of time, but, uh, yes. Just don't use armor. It doesn't do a goddamn thing. No, 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 it's gonna hit me. Yes. Okay, now we're in trouble. Shit! Okay. We're alive. We're full HP. It's fine. I don't want to be in this corner. I don't want to be in this corner. Okay. Thank you. Now, I think we might just about be able to finish him off with the last two. Yes. And he is down. Suck on that, you dickhole. <laughs> I can't believe he killed me. God, I suck. Okay, so you get the Demon's Catalyst from this guy. You think that would be good? You know, it's a Demon's Catalyst that you get from a boss drop. No, it's complete shit. The one we have right now is the best one. I believe the two best Catalysts in the game, you get both of them from Logan. One's called Logan's Catalyst, one's called the Tin Crystallization Catalyst, I believe. But the Tin Crystallization Catalyst, as I remember, I think it halves the amount of spells you have, but you do a lot more damage. So you need to go with less attack and double the amount of spells with Logan's Catalyst, which is the best one. Or you can go with the Tin Crystallization one, much more attack, but half the amount of spells. Okay, so we are gonna turn human here, two reasons. We can summon Solaire for this boss fight, plus we might get invaded. Ain't gonna happen, but screw it, we will try. And of course I'm gonna have to kindle the goddamn bonfire, otherwise I'm gonna get stuck in the bonfire glitch, which frankly really pisses me off. Gotta hate it. Okay, so prepare our sword, cause uh, I think I beat the shit out of that. Yes, I did. Okay, the question is, do I wanna be naked for this fight? I guess so. I mean, I don't know it's necessarily gonna help us, but armor doesn't really do much anyway, so screw it. Now, you may have seen the set of stairs leading up before we went down here. That's the way you get to the shortcut. Screw it, we'll come back for that. It's not really a huge issue right now. Like I say, I just want to kill this boss so we can end the video. Otherwise, it's going to drag on for like another 30 minutes. I know some people like really long videos. Frankly, personally, I think 20, 25 minutes maybe tops. That's kind of the sweet spot in my opinion. Otherwise, it's a little bit long. Well, shit, I completely forgot to summon Solaire. Not that frankly he would make much difference because he just dies all the goddamn time, but if you want to summon him, remember, you gotta be human. On the left of the boss fog, there's a curly bit of roots. He's inside that. If we die again, we'll summon him, but uh, hopefully we won't. Now, kind of staying the obvious here, but yo, shit. Don't do that for a start, and also do not go on the lava. You will die almost instantly. I'm hoping we can actually shoot this guy from here. That actually got him. All right, then. Now, that sort of weird-looking bit of arm that he's attacking me with, if you cut it off, oh, shit. If you cut it off, he will actually drop a ring which allows you to walk on the lava. If you don't, he will drop it anyway when he dies, so yeah, that- Oh shit! What the hell? I killed him! What? Get, do I get the victory? What happened? I got the ring! <laughs> the bus fog's gone. Okay, so we got a double kill. Well, either way, I win. Screw you. <laughs> Anyway, what I was going to say was, when you kill him, you get the ring, and that allows you to proceed. If you get the ring earlier by cutting off that bit of tail, or whatever the hell it is, his arm, that way you can go back into the boss fight if you die, and then run around on the lava, makes him a bit easier. However, I kind of don't suggest that if you really want to keep your souls, because if you die on top of the lava, seeing your bloodstain is now an impossible. Like, you can't see it, but it's very difficult to spot, so... Oftentimes, I've gone in for him on the lava, died, and then not be able to come back and grab my bloodstain, because I just can't see where the goddamn thing is, so... Yeah, if you really want to keep your souls, try and stay on the land, but... Yeah, obviously that makes the fight a lot more difficult, because you got to wait for him to come to you, unless, like me, you are a sorcerer, but, uh, yeah, for melee guys, he's kind of a huge pain in the dick. Okay, what do we get here? Green Tyna Shards. Well, shit. I thought I was a soul of a hero. Had I known it was Green Tyna Shards, I wouldn't have freaking bothered. Okay, so, we have to go over here. You can see there's a door over on the right. That's not where you actually go. You actually have to go through an opening over on the left, and yes, you could stand in the lava fountains. It doesn't do a goddamn thing. You can see my HP is going down very, very slowly. I think, and I may be wrong about this, but I believe if you are human, you take less damage on the fire. I'm not, not sure if the amount of humanity you have on the top left actually matters. It may do. I really don't know. Wait a minute. Where the hell is Solaire? 
He's supposed to be here. Maybe it's because I didn't summon him for the boss fight. I have frankly no idea. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like. And I will see you next time for more Dark Souls.